my balls keep telling me to let me oh oh just let me oh chris hansen locked his twitter uh today it was pretty funny uh before he did it he sent this really funny video john swan is a terrible journalist genius chris hansen who is also a terrible journalist uh tweeted this sucker out i'm here to criticize his transgressions much Ooh. like the commentary mafia who are known to spread lies and toast words that's it's funny the commentary mafia not identified known to spread lies and twist words known here comes known the by here, here, oh I'll here win. comes the example hold on we got to be fair john swan is no better in fact oh wait a minute there is no example <laughs> <laughs> The errors and manipulation needs to be called out. Okay. When questioned about his source, he would simply ignore it or provide nothing at all. Even if the source wants to remain hidden, a receipt is needed to prove that there is a source. Even if the source wants to remain hidden, a receipt is needed to prove that there is a source. Did you hear? Alright, now I'm done. Even if the source is hidden, you have to prove that the source isn't hidden, you f***ing edge! I highly recommend you guys watch the next John Swan video. I absolutely uh, I think this. I'm about to make some criticism of John Swan, but I don't think there's any invalid points in his, or, or anything that's re refutable. But there is another problem uh, with this video. And yesterday, I started a content that said to find the uh, plagiarized stuff that um, John Swan used in his video from Nick DiOrio. All right. It's just a light jab. He's told two jokes. One of them, uh, I don't think meets the legal definition of plagiarism, but it would definitely be plagiarized. I don't think it's that big a deal. I just thought it was kind of a little funny. Uh, and I, I said that. In fact, I think I'm going to play the tapes because th this got shifted to, oh, you're just, you're just mad, you're just mad, jealous, the, the whole nine. This is, this is how I started uh, the contest yesterday. And there are two scenarios where there is direct plagiarism. You find those two, I'll give you a t-shirt. But you have to get it right on the mark or actually get the first. I'm basically, uh, you have to hit me up on Twitter, right? You have to hit me up on Twitter and you have to be the first one on my timeline and sent it. Here's why it's funny. Because the whole video is about Chris Hansen being unethical. And he plagiarized two. That was it, and somehow that got turned into you mad. Oxford definition of plagiarism, although I don't know if this meets the legal definition, plagiarism is presenting someone else's work as your uh, or ideas as your own without direct consent. This is exactly what happened. I don't really think it's that big a deal. Again, we're not in uni. Not, this is not a special. These are YouTube videos. So the words were identical, and that is what I saw. As far as like. I don't know, order a video or, you know, a, a, a couple different things that, that that's that's not what I'm talking about. You plagiarize the joke. You can plagiarize a verse. You can plagiarize a joke. You can plagiarize a line. Whether it rises to the level of illegality, I don't know, but it's been plagiarized. This is the first example. If these people sound like they were born yesterday, that's because they actually were. If it seems like these people were born yesterday, that's because they probably were. That's plagiarism. It's not that serious. Now, this one, I'm sure, doesn't rise to the level of legality because it's only two words. But do keep in mind, we're talking about the exact same subject. But Holly went on to say some incredible things. The most insane one was where she insinuated that Onision now has confirmed kill. Emitting from thumbnails was crazy enough. Holly goes on to tell Chris that Onision has confirmed kills. That's lazy. At worst, do I think this is the worst thing in the world? Did I know Nick wasn't going to have a problem? But it's really, really, really <laughs> lazy work. It's incredibly lazy work. But I just want to let you know, John Plant has apologized to me, and I do accept this apology. Yo, Tommy, I, I think it's best that I apologize. Clear the air. I understand your intentions uh, were meant not to offend me. I definitely took it too personal. I always defend my creations as much as I can because I do pour so much time into them. And while I don't agree with your criticisms at all, you have every right to meme it how you want. Apologies. Uh, for for turning it into a Twitter scoff, stay, stay stay safe. I said, look, I have no problem, but now I got to kind of change it because he kind of all piled up on me. And then he said, cover it any way you want. I took two lines from Nick's video. Okay, we have an admission. Why? Because they said it was better than me. Both Nick's videos are cited in the description. Your citation doesn't mean you can plagiarize jokes. That just means that's where you got some of your information, which is fine. 
Text and journalism with a similarity, 15% is acceptable. Good luck with finding anything close to that. I didn't say your video was plagiarized. I didn't say the whole video was plagiarized. I said you took jokes. He comes back with an incredibly stupid tweet. I'm not, I, there's no way I can cut this. I don't hate John. I know I'm not saying hates John away, but this is an incredibly stupid tweet. I had another version of the script. I don't know why that's relevant. But I went back and watched Nick's video again, and I thought it was, uh, I thought it was better, so I used it. I had another script, but when I went back and watched Nick's video, I thought it was better, so I used it. This has nothing to do with laziness. John, that is the definition of laziness. Hard work would be, wow, Nick is better, I gotta outdo him. That is lazy. That's not fair use, that doesn't even come close. This is legitimate criticism, which by the way, again, not trying to start a war with John, I wasn't trying to start a war, war with John. I was simply pointing out how fucking ironic this is. I took the part where the Anision said these confirmed kills. If that's what you're referring to, I found that really funny. But it doesn't mean you have a right to it. Like, I, I had to tell people that, by the way, you know, uh, the, 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 this thing. It's not copyrightable, but I took it on upon myself to tell the public that I got this from my hero, Don Imus. When I've made jokes before and delivered jokes from like Chris Rock or George Carlin, and I said, yeah, I just ripped off for George Carlin. Well, I wish you, you are 15 streams talking about it then, Tommy. Uh, I hope you get a lot of views and Super Chats. I don't need you for Super Chats. Let, let me, I, I just don't. Um, I, I get a lot of 100K guys. I can always put a million sub guy in the title. Every time. The wanted to piece of your ass? John, I've done it before. I just take it. Pulling face banks and saying you're jealous and all this other stuff. Well, guess what? I've taken on much bigger people than John Swan. I just haven't done it in a while. And this is a light tap. And I think it's a fair tap. Hope you like that. If you want to see the full episode, click in the left box.